I don't know if it's just me, but I've always felt that QR codes have been pretty cool in a way to get you to a web page or something that you want your audience to see quickly and easily, but they've always been a pain to make and a pain to kind of be able to scan. You've always had to have some sort of app in order to open it up. But Google has made it super easy now, and smartphones have come a long way at reading these QR codes. I'm going to show you how to make a QR code from any Google web page, any picture, any G Suite item, and be able to use your camera on your smartphone to be able to look it up quickly and easily. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm gonna show you how to use QR codes, so hopefully it's simple and easy for you to be able to get it out to your audience. Google has made a lot of changes. Smartphones have come a long way. I'm gonna show you the change that Google made, and I want you to understand that your smartphone, whatever one you have, now will quickly and easily read QR codes using the camera app. All you have to do is pull up your camera and point it at the QR code and it will open up whatever it is that the QR code is asking it to open up. As I was filming this, I realized that I'm an Apple user and I don't use Android smartphones. So I wanted to do a little research, make sure you understood how to do it with an Android device. So I'll still get the picture that I want to create a QR code for. And on my cellular device, I want to make sure that I'm using the Google app. And right there, that colorful box with the blue dot in the middle, right in the search bar, this is Google Lens. And at the bottom, you can see there's a lot of different options. I want to make sure that I'm on search so that when I point it at the QR code, bring that back up it will take me directly to what I want. You can see the website pop up, I click on it, and it takes me to the picture that is representing the QR code. So I've got a bunch of examples that I wanna show you, and I wanna start with a web page. I have an assignment that I've pulled up for my math students, and I want to use a QR code for them to be able to gain access with their remote device, or maybe with their cellular device. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, and it has an option here that says create QR code for this page. If I go up in the address bar and click on the address bar, you can see a couple of icons here for passwords and also favorites. But if I click, you'll see the QR code appear. Now, if you're not seeing this either with the right click or within the address bar, let me show you how to actually get this icon to show up. You're going to open a Chrome tab and you're going to type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. And once you go into Chrome flags, this is a place that's able to customize your Chrome experience even further for you. In the search flags bar, I want you to type in QR. And this will bring up the enable sharing page via QR code. You can see mine is enabled. So if yours is on default and you didn't see it, you're gonna wanna click enable. When you click enable, it may ask you to relaunch. Hit the relaunch button, it will close your windows out and relaunch them all. And that QR code option should now show up with your right click or if you click in the address bar. So I'm gonna test this out with a website, some Google apps and also a picture and show you what works and what doesn't work when you attempt this. Here's an assignment that I want my math students to do. You can see that I can click on the create QR code up in the title bar or I can right click and click on create QR code for this page. Now, I attempted to copy and paste this using the snipping tool because right now I'm on a PC and I realized a little trick with this. Okay, when I'm on a PC, you'll notice that when I try to take a snip of this using my snipping tool, it goes away. So it X's it out. So every single time I go back, try to create the shortcut of the QR code and then go to the snipping tool, the snipping tool will just exit it out. So that's something you wanna be aware of when you are working with a PC. If you're working with a Chromebook though, the shortcut for going ahead and using your snipping tool will work. 
So if this is the website that I want to use a QR code for, I can click on the QR code creator. And then I'm going to use my shortcut of control shift and then show all windows. That's the button that is just above the six. Looks like a box with two lines. So I'm going to press control shift and then use my pinky to show all windows and my screen has dimmed. And now I'm just going to click and scroll over the top of it. So this works on Chromebooks, not on PCs. So I can now copy it to my clipboard and paste it into whatever I want, whether it's a website, a document, Google Classroom, whatever I want to do, I can go ahead and add that on. I'm now going to create a QR code for this web page. I'm going to go to my smartphone. I'm going to open the camera app and I'm going to point the camera at the QR code and you'll see on the screen that I'm able to open up this web page on my smartphone due to scanning the QR code. So it's a quick, easy way to get to where you need to be. I'm now going to try this with Google Docs. So if I take a Google Doc and I want to go ahead and right click, you'll see that it comes up with all of the options for Google Docs. So for this one, we've got to use our title bar. And that's the same with Google Slides. You're going to have to use the title bar to get the QR code and also Google Sheets. You're going to have to use the actual address bar in order to get the QR code. But with Google Forms, I found that you can right click this and it will create the QR code for the page. Now I tested all four of these and all four of them will come up using that QR code. Your sharing permissions, you're going to want to make sure that they are open for people to be able to use the code and then open the document, slideshow, form, quiz, whatever it is that you are trying to get them to open. But it will open on your smart device as you can see here. So the next thing that I tried out was I messed around with pictures. And I started to look for a picture of a sunset that came to my mind. And what I noticed was that when I found one that I liked and I right clicked on that picture, it did come up with the option to create a QR code for this image. So I used my right click and it was able to come up with the QR code for this image. But when I clicked it, it didn't actually create. So you got to be aware of that. You actually have to click on the picture, go to the website that that picture is on. And that's where you're going to be able to create a QR code for the image. When it comes up, I'm going to take my smartphone and access the camera once again point it at the QR code and you will see that the picture pops up on our smart device. And so one more thing that I wanted to test was will this work with calendar events? If I was to plan a calendar event from 9 to 11 and I will title it when I click save I first have to left click on the actual event and then on this title card I'm able to right click and create a QR code for this page. This QR code when I go ahead and scan it with my smartphone camera once again will open the calendar event inside of my calendar which is Google Calendar and you can see that Google Meet shows up on the calendar on my smartphone. So there are a ton of ways that you can create QR codes now, and it's super easy to create them and also super easy to read them. I hope you end up using this in some way, shape, or form for yourself or for your students.